I can hear you. Okay. Can you read this word right here? That's in the bold. Yes. Uh, it is um subiokan. Yep, subiokan. Nice. And he gets us how to read this word. This word is um shunkan. Yep, shunkan. Shunkan means like the moment. So a lot of times it might be shunkan. described by seven star. Right. At that moment, shunkan. What did it start with? It ended with kan. Right. Yep. Can you read this for me? He tricked up shunkan nuketa. That means that um, at the time when I came to realize, uh, it went through. Yeah, perfect. Can you read this for me? Uh, he, 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 bataku. Hi, he bataku. Any guesses what this might mean? He bataku mean, um, bataku, pull, pull and push on something. Really good guess. The push main push thing on. is actually this pataku right here from tataku, which means to hit. So hipataku also means to hit something, kind of smack it around. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Chika zuita yojinbo wa ore o hipataita. Um, the bodyguard that is nearby. Uh, would want to smack me, want to ruffle me. Hi, hey, so let's right? go look it's at the taita. tense form. It says taita. It doesn't um, want to. Tai does look like want to, but it's not going to be taita. The past tense of what is takata. Takata. Because tai is an adjective. This though, ita, is telling us this is the past tense of a verb. In this case, ku. Hipataku became hipataita. So, um, also, chikazuita, this is to have gotten close. Just letting you know. To have gotten close. So this is actually say the thief that has actually gotten close. Um, he he smacked me. He yeah. He hit me. Perfect. He hit me. The bodyguard that got close hit me. Perfect. So um, this was supposed to be hipataku, but says fu because of spelling errors. But what is the oh what is the path? Do you have any idea? Hopefully I can glitch anything weirdly. The past form of pipataku. Hi. Passive. The passive form of hipataku would be hipata kuku simple to verb. So hipa hipatakareru. Yep. Perfect. Um, so do you know what this word is? Tsukamachao. 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 Um, Tsukama. Let's see. Neburi ni sugu tsukamachao. Is to grab. Sukama is to grab, is it? Close. This is actually to capture. 
To grab capture. and to capture are very similar. Scamme is to grab and to kamaru uh, uh, is to capture. And both of these, their um, passive form or something like that is like identical. So they're very similar because of that. But in this context, it is to capture. So by numberty, I would be immediately captured. Um, so now you get to go read the line from the book. Hi. Let's say. Shikazuita. Um. Shikazuita shuka. Benetto ni sukamate atamao shpata kareta. Hi. So atama has this kanji with a little uh, bean in it. This guy right here has mirror in it, I think. What is mirror? No way. Mirror. Ah, does not have mirror so in it. It's ka, shadows. It's what kami, right? Uh, kao. Oh, it's shadow. So, kao is face. Yep. Um. So, kao hipatakareta. Hi. So, it's the passive form of supataku. Hi, hipataku. So, he, my face was receiving, right? My yes. face got hit uh, by, marked by the neat particle, the net, uh, who suma sukamate, he grabs me and my face got hit. Perfect. Or, oh, no, 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 no. That's the passive form of sukamate. So I got grabbed and my yes. face got hit, right? Yes. Yep. So at the moment I got close, but it grabbed me and punched me in the face. Hi. Okay. Kanji check from last week. This guy you always struggle with. Who is this guy? Let me see. He is you. 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 Ta. Yep. You got. Or you got. You got for floor. Ka. You got. And what about the thing above it? What kind of you got are we talking about? This is a floor that is made out of stone. A stone floor. That's why it's kurobikari. It's a, it's a floor made out of stone that has it's nice and shiny. Um and what's this word right here real fast? Not there. How do I erase that? Um uh shuka. Hmm, you're missing a sound in there. So you said shoot and then you said kan. But there's actually a sound right here. You know what it is? It's actually a mm. shun kan. Shun kan. The little mm, shun gang, shun gang. Hi, the moment. So the moment I got close, shun gang. Can you read this for me? Um, hidoi. Uh, hidoi me ni atara nigeru, nigero. Hidoi. Hidoi me ni. Hidoi is bad, right? Hidoi yes. is like. Awful. Doi, awful, bad, perfect. Meni ao is to oh. encounter something, basically. So to encounter a bad time was hidoi meni ao. Hidoi meni ao. Hidoi ni atara. When I encounter the, the bad time, I nigero. This is a command to say if you encounter a bad time, run. Exactly, perfect. Nice. So you wouldn't really use this for like whenever I encounter bad times. Tada tends to insinuate like 
the next time something happens to some extent or like one specific time in the past so it it shouldn't be it's not normally used for a like always happening event necessarily like as as its focus it doesn't focus on that it can be used for events to happen multiple times but that's not the focus of it so if you're using tada versus a different verb it, it feels more like one specific occasion we're talking about possibly in the future but it can also be the past so like basically almost like saying the next time you experience something bad run away would might be a more accurate way of translating it even though it does mean when this happens do that you know what nagura I... means nagura is to naga throw someone nage Nugget is to throw something. Yes. Um. So, nageru is to throw, but naguru is actually to throw a punch. How to throw a punch? So, very specifically of the punching variety rather than the throwing version. Um. Later today, we will be seeing this kanji to mean um throw with nageru, but. Not this guy. Do you know what this word means? Yarate Yarare Chimao. Yarare Chimao. Yarare Chimao. It's a cotton. Yatsuno teka ni. It's got tara. Cotton pani. Yarare Chimao. Yarare. If he sees me, he will he will like ruin me or something. Will... Basically, that's a good guess. Um kotenpani yararu basically means to be done in to the extent the your konpen. Uh kotenpan is like um getting the stuff being beat out of you. So yararu is to be done in. In other words, someone beats you up. And you'll probably like be killed maybe. <laughs> Get out of con ka ka ni is describing the yes. the degree of of the verb. So yes. to be done in all the way. Yep. <laughs> to be done in, in a severe way. I so, naguru, which was to punch. Do you know what the passive form of that would be? Naguru, 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 naguru. I'm guessing it's the u verb, which means nagurareru. Right, nagurareru. So, masaka is a way to show shock of something. It's kind of like, no way. How could this happen? Masaka. It's just like you didn't think this right. would happen. Like, there, there was no way. How could that be? Um. So let's go read the line from the book. Motto. Hidoku. Nagureta koto mo aru ga masaka koko de benetto ni yarare ru to wa. Yet another awful event. Nagurareta koto mo aruga. So uh, another koto exists. Hi. And this koto is nagurareta. As in being punched at. The thing of being punched. The thing of being punched. The, the awful. Another another so, awful moto, being moto punched thing. Plus, plus, so, moto. I was like thinking which is translated out. So moto does not mean another. Moto means more. As in more horrible. Moto hidoku. Rather than more, rather than another horrible. So it's the degree of horribleness is more, like um, the whole guy. 
are more horrible than the the, the thing of being punched. Uh, close. However, so, so right here, you're you're kind of getting it, but you are getting a little bit like confused in here. So you're right. This is aru to exist, and the thing that exists is what's being touched by koto. Why do you think koto is here versus no? I think he wanted to say that being punched is horrible. Yeah, basically, being... that is kind of the idea of here. In this case, it's actually more about multiple events. So general is one of the reasons for koto to exist. So nagurareta koto, that in itself can definitely mean the act of being punched. In this specific context, due to how everything's uh, rearranged together with the moto, this actually feels like he's talking about multiple events in the past. Even though moto is not another, it's like more. So it says, I have experienced, basically, I have encountered events of being hit that was more horrible than being hit just now. Does that kind of make sense how we got to that? So I have more also, than the horrible. Yep. So I have also encountered uh, the events hit. of being hit more horrible. Lee, more horribly. And then we have, however, I had even more, mark even, like, mm -hmm. like another, um, you know, the more is, 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 is in addition to whatever the subject was marked before, yes. like a wa or a ga. So he was talking about being punched the first time. That was the subject. Yep. That was the wa. And then he further say mo, meaning some other thing also have it too, was more horrible. Um, okay, I understand. And then he say, however, masaka koko de. Masaka meaning like um, unbelievable. Uh, to to for it to be happened here is unbelievable. Masaka kuko de here. Veneto ni yarareru to wa. From to get done in by Nabeto. And then he jacks off. So he didn't expect, he did not expect that it would happen. In this case, he would get hit by Bennett. Yes. Yep. So altogether, it says, while I have experienced being punched way worse than this, that I was th I had no idea that right here and now that Bennett would be the one to do me in. It's kind of how it's um flowing together. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know how to read this guy? This guy is uh he he he, he, he Close. This he right here is pronounced as fu. Kazega The wind uh the wind blows wind yeah the wind blows through. Good guess. Aredu is actually through. violent. So violent. it actually means oh. violent winds. The violence wind. But you're right. Fuku from that fuki is to blow. Um, can you read this word I, for me? Fui ito no fui i fui o tsuku. Hi, fui o tsuku. Not intended Hi. without intentionality, right? Yeah, that's a good guess. It actually means to be taken by surprise, to take by surprise, not to be, to take by surprise. So, fui o tsuku. So, to attack. Attempt not. So, unattention to be attached. Um, so, to take by surprise. Can to, you read this word for me? Take something by surprise. Bu. Hibazu. Mm, try again for the second to, word. To, to. Hi, hi, hi. Tobasu. Tobasu. Futobasu. Futobasu. It's to be like blown away. But not in like, oh, my paper blew away. This is very common to use in like 
books and like anime and manga and stuff for when someone gets punched and they get blown into like the wall or something. Futobatsu! That it's like that kind of blown away. So if you like search Futobatsu, you'll be like see people being like ah being sent flying. So this is more like to be sent flying than really to be um to blow away. Futobasu. What is the passive form of tuku? Passive form of tuku is sukareru. Hi. Um, this verb right here, utsu, also means to hit. Utsu. Can you read this for me? Utsu. Uchi sukareru. Hi. So this tukeru is to attach. So it means to hit someone. To attach a punch. Uchi tukeru. Um, well, to, specifically in this context, it's not to like be necessarily be punched. It's like to attach a hit to something. So a hit is attach. So it doesn't have to be a punch necessarily. It's any kind of like smacking into something. To I smack th- into. I think I think the sukeru here mean that it landed. Whatever it lands on, it actually yeah. landed. Whereas if you punch, you might have you might have punched the air, you might have missed, you might have you just throw the punch. But definitely. Sukeru mean it hit something. Yep. Can you read this for me? So Atama o tsuchi suketa. Hi. The head was hit. Yes. So I told you meant hit, but it's better to think about as to slam into maybe. The head was hit yes, is yeah. is fine though. It it just it, it's not focusing on like the punching action. Um, do you know what kamu means? To chew. Close. It is to bite into something. So related, we got yeah. our teeth and our mouth. Chewing would be something else. What it would be, I don't know. Mogu mogu. Um, what was to bite into something? To bite into was kamu. Hi. Do you know what a kuchibiru is? Kuchi biru. Kuchi biru. Um, kuchi biru. Kuchi. I feel like it's a mouth. Mm, it's related kuchi to mouth. Opening. And then biru. The lips. Hi, kuchi biru is lips. lips. Yep, kuchi biru um... lips. So yeah, I it's wonder what this word biru means. One kanji. I have no idea what biru means on its own. But yeah, kutibiru is lips. Um, what is the terror form mm. of this guy right here, which is to bite? So kamu is to bite. To make it the te form is kamunde. Hmm. Kamunde? Shouldn't we like erase something for te form? Kaunde. It just would be kande. Delete that mu. Mu should kande. not be in there. Kande. Um, can you read this for me? Buki tobazareta teka wa kuchibiru o kanda. The minions Sarada Masarada. The minion that um the minion that was that was fly out was it? Yeah, that's that a good was, guess. It was thrown out so like he... Fuki so Fuki Tobu or Futobu, like we saw earlier, are basically the same word. It's Different um, conjugations that have different kind of focuses. So, uh, fukitobu, uh, fukitobasu, um, is to blow someone away. I am blowing them away. I am sending someone away by like punching somebody. So, fukitoba sareta, sareta is the passive form of suru or any kind of su. So that because areru, so it means the minion that was blown away. 
But the insinuation is not like, whoa, but in the ah kind of way. The minion that uh, was thrown into bigger. the wall. Hi. Um, but could, oh, I see. Okay. This is physically, like he was physically sent yes. into the, sent yes. flying, basically. Exactly. To be sent flying um, physically. So the minion that was sent flying, uh, his, his, he, he bite his lips. Perfect. So our next word, kotobu, this is the back of your head. As a little refresher, Benetto, he punched the main character on his cow at the front of his head. So kotobu is the opposite area, the back of his head. Okay, so let's go read the lines in the book. All right, so we have Uyo Sukarete Kam Kabe Ma Kabe Made Utobi Kotobu O Uchisuke Kuchibiru O Kande Shimata. So let's say Fuyotsukare. Fuyotsukare. Hmm. We say Do you remember Fuyo, Fuyotsuku Fuyo. was? Fuyotsuku. Fuyo, Fuyo, Fuyo. Fuyo, Fuyo. You say Fuy was to blow, right? Mm, that's Fuku. Oh, no, no, it's no. It's a different to, kanji. To land, to land a punch. Let's see. Fuyotsuku, this right here, is the kanji. Fuyotsuku. Fuyotsuku meant to take by surprise. Fuyotsuku. What does futtobase mean? Futtobase. Just be sent flying. Just sent right. someone flying. So yeah, keep an eye on that kanji. You know that the, the fui doesn't have kanji. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, back to the picture. All right, so what happened? Fuyotsukarete. So it's not to take surprise, it is to passive form, right? To be taken by Hi. Yes. Hi. To be taken by surprise. Kabe made futobi. Thrown towards the wall. Thrown at the wall. Close. Um, so this is a difference between um futobu and futoba fukitobasu. Tobasu. Uh, Futobu is to be sent flying, but the idea is that you flew into. So it doesn't have a instigator necessarily as a translation. So I flew where do you think? Where did I fly into? I fly towards mm -hmm. the wall. Yeah, but it's not really towards because it's made. Towards would be like a different word. Do you know what made means in this context? Did I, when I flew, so, did I stop before the wall? Did I go through the wall? How far did I fly? At, up to the wall, at yeah. the wall. So in other words, I touched the wall in this case. I kept on flying. And once I touched the wall, that is when I stopped flying. So that is the end point of the being flown into. So taken by surprise, right. surprise, I fly into the wall, and then what happens? Kotobu o uchitsuke. It land on the back of my head. It hits yeah. the back of my head. Yeah, it hits the back of the head. So in this context, we're talking about the wall. The wall is what's smacking him here because Bennett punched him in the front of his face and he got sent flying into the wall and smacked the back of his head. Um, and what happened after that? Afterward is Kuchibiru o Kande Shimata and I 
unwilling i i um sort of bitten my lips without yeah. wanting to yeah whoops because remember he flew into the wall ow poor con um so right now it is our halfway point so i'm gonna stop sharing and i'll see you in two seconds